everyone, and welcome to a very special edition of Ask the Crown. I'm Elizabeth Seyfried, Miss United States 2014, and Miss World Americas 2015. I'm so excited to be introducing the 2015 class of Miss World America, who will be competing this summer in Washington, D.C. in July. Hi, my name is Victoria Mendoza, and I'm Miss Arizona World. Tell us about where you're from and your family and your community. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. I'm actually from the southern part of Phoenix because it is a huge city. Um, my family, I have one older brother and one younger sister. I have a dog named Oliver who I absolutely love my dog <laughs> and my brother and sister. And then I have my two amazing parents who have actually been married for 25 years, which is so cool. Tell us something about yourself that no one else knows. Something about me that is a little embarrassing, but that nobody else knows, is I actually sometimes wear men's deodorant. Arizona is super hot and sunny, and it's pretty much summer year round. So women's deodorant sometimes just doesn't cut it. I love the smell of men's deodorant, and it lasts all day. So I love to wear it, and that's really something nobody knows. <laughs> Knowing what you know now, if you could write a letter to yourself when you were young, what would you say? Knowing what I know now, if I could write a letter to myself when I was younger, I would tell myself to slow down and live in the moment. I remember being 12 years old and I couldn't wait to be a teenager. And then when I was a teen, I was 16 years old and I couldn't wait to be 18 because I'd be an adult. And now I'm 19 years old and I wish that when I was a kid, I had just slowed down and lived in the moment. So if I could write a letter to myself, I would definitely tell myself to just chill. <laughs> tell us about your Beauty with a Purpose project and how you selected it. My Beauty with a Purpose project is helping impoverished children. And I selected this because last summer I actually had the opportunity to go on a mission trip to Haiti, which was incredible and so life-changing. And I realized that even though there were children in this fourth world country who were begging for simple necessities like food and water, there are actually a lot of kids in the United States and in Arizona who have the same problem. They come from low income families and they often don't have the means to provide themselves with food or water, just basic necessities. So that is why I decided to focus my year as Miss Arizona on helping kids who are impoverished. Knowing that Miss World is a community ambassador, tell us why you should be Miss World America. I feel that I should be Miss World America because I truly understand what the Miss World organization stands for. I try to live out the beauty with a purpose idea every single day of my life. I try to inspire others to, to pursue what they love and also to make a difference in their community. Beyond that, I would be so honored and so grateful to be Miss World America because I truly feel that I'm ready for the position. I'm ready for the responsibility of being in that leadership role, and it would just be so awesome for me, and I would absolutely love that, and I feel that I would really just make a great representative for our country. Tell us a fun fact. One fun fact about me is that I'm a sophomore at Arizona State University and I'm studying journalism. I hope to be on E! News eventually and be your next broadcast journalist. Thank you so much to everyone who let us interview them on Ask the Crown and thank you to everyone for watching. I'm so excited to meet all the women in Washington, D.C. in July who will be competing for Miss World America.